हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट एट द इंस्टेंट ओमेगा ए इक्वल्स टू फाइव रेडियन पर सेकेंड पुली ए इज गिवन अ कॉन्स्टेंट एंगुलर एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ सिक्स रेडियन पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर डिटर्मिन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ पॉइंट बी ऑन पुली सी वन ए रोटेट्स टू रिवोल्यूशन Pulley C has an inner hub which is fixed to its outer one and turns with it. Now, since this pulley A uh, is moving with a constant angular acceleration, so we can find its uh, velocity after its angular velocity after two revolutions uh, using this third equation. And these are the special equations for constant angular acceleration. So we can say that omega square is equal to omega naught. Square plus two alpha c theta minus theta naught. So we want to use this for the pulley A. So we will write subscript v omega A square. This is omega naught A square plus two alpha c omega naught theta A minus theta A naught uh, theta naught A. So now let's assume that. At the instant when omega a is five radian per second, so this is the initial angular velocity. So we can say that omega a naught, omega naught a. Let's say this is five radian per second. At that particular instant, let's say that theta naught a is equals to zero. When we start the when we start the observation the initial angular displacement is let's say zero so now we will substitute these values in this equation and we will be able to find uh, this omega a after theta equals to after two revolutions so we are given these two revolutions is in fact um, the angular displacement theta a so theta a is two revolutions and we want we need to convert these revolutions into radians so one revolution is equal to two pi radians so this is four pi radians revolution cancels out so now we can substitute these values here in this equation and we will get that omega a so omega a we can write that omega a square is equal to 5 square plus 2 and alpha c is given in the problem statement this is 6 so 6 theta a is 4 pi minus 0 and we need to take the square roots on both sides of the equation so we will get this omega a so omega a is 5 square plus 2 into 6 into 4 pi. So this gives me omega A. The angular velocity of pulley A after two revolutions is 13.258 radian per second. Is this pulley A and pulley C, they are connected with each other with the help of this belt and this belt is non-slip belt the tangential acceleration of c is equal to the tangential acceleration of a and similarly the tangential velocity of c that is equal to the tangential velocity of a then we can write that the tangential uh, acceleration is r c alpha c equals to r a alpha a and similarly here we can write that r c omega c equals to r a omega a now from from the first equation from this equation we can find the acceleration for pulley c so that is alpha c is r a divided by r c into alpha a now we know r a this is r a this is 50 mm so 50 divided by rc rc is this this is 40 mm so 
50 divided by 40 multiplied by alpha a alpha a is given which is 6 here it is given in the problem statement that it is 6 radian per second square and similarly from this equation we can say that omega c is r a divided by r c into omega a now r a is 50 mm and this is 40 mm multiplied by omega a this is omega a 13.2 so this is 50 divided by 40 multiplied by 6 7.5 alpha c is 7.5 radian per second square similarly omega c is 50 divided by 40 multiplied by 13.258 So this is 16.572 radian per second. Now in the problem statement, it is said that determine the magnitude of acceleration of point B. So we have to find the tangential acceleration of point B and we have to find the normal acceleration of point B. And then using the Pythagoras theorem, we have to find the uh, magnitude of that acceleration. So now we can say that the tangential acceleration of point B is equal to RB times alpha B and the normal acceleration of point B is equal to RB times omega B square. Now as we know that the disk on which point B is located is attached with this pulley C and they move with the same angular velocity and with the same angular acceleration. So now we can say that uh, alpha B is equal to alpha C and omega B is equal to omega C. So we can convert this. We can use that C values here. So we can write that this is, this is now C. So RB, now RB is 60 mm here. We need to convert 60 mm into meters. And here in these equations, there is no need to convert since we are taking the ratio of the same uh, quantities, right? So um, in the numerator, we have the unit says mm and in the denominator, we have unit says mm, so they cancel out. But here in this equation, uh, this is a different case. We need to convert this uh, radius into meters in order to get the correct answer. So now our B is... 60 mm so 60 mm divided by 1000 will give us the the radius in meters so, so 60 mm divided by let me write it 60 divided by 1000 this will be in meters multiply by alpha c which is 7.5 and similarly the normal component of the acceleration of point b will be again 60 divided by 1000 into Omega C, Omega C is this 16.572. So 60 divided by 1000 multiplied by 7.5. This gives us 0 0.45. And since this is the tangential acceleration, the units are meter per second square. Remember. This is uh, 16.572 square, right? This is omega c square. So we need to square this value, right? So now this is 60 divided by 1000 multiplied by 16.572 square. So this gives me 16.478 meter per second square. Now the magnitude of the acceleration will be the a tangential of point b square plus a normal of point b square this is using the pythagoras theorem right so this will be 0 0.45 square plus 16.478 square under the square root 0 0.45 square plus 16.478 square this gives me 16. 484 meter per second square so this is the magnitude of the acceleration of point b 
so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if it helps in your learning